I guess you can call this look do everything possible to distract people's attention from the fact that you got a zit on your chin. Mm -hmm. Or what I like to do in the dark with my crayons. <laughs> anyway, makeup or no makeup, let's get to your reading. to the spiritual social. I'm Lexi, your local lightworker. I'm a tarot reader and an astrologer and I'm very happy to be bringing you another pick a card reading. This is a pick a card reading with six options. We are going to be diving into the topic of your glow up. How will it come about? What will it entail? What will make you gorgeous and fully empowered in this period? This is a reading I'm preparing by popular request. You guys chose it, you voted for it uh, based on the most recent community tab poll that I created for you. So it's a pleasure to be doing this for you. I hope it helps you get over the Venus retrograde in Capricorn hang up, which is collectively affecting the divine feminines out there. But don't worry, guys, it's just an illusion. It will pass by on the 29th of January. We will naturally be getting back into our sexy groove. But up until then, I hope to provide you with some encouragement, some words of kindness and some compassionate power. Mm -hmm. I have here a choice for you of six different options taken from the Love Your Inner Goddess Oracle deck that was kindly gifted to my channel. Thank you so much, crew member, that donated this to my channel. So I also have pre-shuffled Oracle cards behind each of these images, but I will live shuffle, as you guys know. I will live shuffle from the Muse Tarot. I have it over here. Okay, so let me introduce to you the options in front of you. For group one... I have here the mermaid soul. So you guys are my mermaid soul crew. For group two, I have here the queen of hearts. Very regal. For group three, I have my starborn crew. So my star seeds probably. For group four, <laughs> I love this one. Beautiful bandit. A bit of a Bonnie and Clyde vibe with this card. For group five, my Earth Mama's Moon Child. Okay, so my Moon Child crew. And last but never least, for group six, we have the Elk Medicine Woman. Mm. Deep, deep wisdom. So uh, take a moment now to figure out which of these options pulls you in the most. Feel free to choose more than one. I will begin each of these readings by reading you the in-depth message which can be found in this booklet written by the beautiful Alana Fairchild. Basically, we will start with an overall message of encouragement and then I'm going to dive into the tarot and then we're going to dive into the oracle cards, get something nice to drink, cozy up, Take some time to listen to this reading and absorb all the beautiful energy that I'm using um, the intentions to create it with. I hope this helps. I'm sending you so much love and I cannot wait to divinate for you at your pile. Bye bye. Hey group one, hello my loves, welcome to your glow up pick a card reading. This is for those of you that were drawn to the mermaid soul. You already have a grand master number, 33, a significant synchronicity. This is the number of the creative communicator. And before I show you the cards and I pre-shuffle from the muse tarot that I have here with me today, I am going to read you the in-depth message from Alana Fairchild who created this gorgeous deck and this card that you were drawn to. So, mermaid soul, deep within you, you know what excites you and inspires you. Your job isn't to decide whether that inspiration is practical, realistic, or even possible. Human beings have been shown throughout history that the ideas which they once scoffed at as being ridiculous or impossible to achieve can become the realities that they rely upon and take for granted as a natural part of their daily lives not long afterwards. 
you too shall move from doubt to wondering how you ever lived without this passion, idea, or inspiration of yours. Let the universe show off its creative flair for the unexpected and inspirational through you. Do not give up on what truly moves and inspires your heart, for soon enough it will be part of your world. Beautiful mermaids, you guys could be Neptune dominant, you could have Neptune conjunct the ascendant, you could be a Pisces ascendant, a Pisces sun, a Pisces moon. So this is a call to arm yourself up with deep inner strength and deep, deep courage and bravery. I almost dropped your card to the deck. Things will slide off in your life only to be replaced by something beautiful, something completely new. It could be that if you have any placements in Pisces, Jupiter at the moment in the sign of Pisces until December 2022 is giving you beautiful gifts. Let's see what kind of gifts. Let's see what constitutes your glow up. So for a lot of you, I see that you might travel. You will get your glow up as you travel or as you return home from a really important travel. Um, for some of you, this could be small local transportation. For others, this is a faraway trip, an international trip. You might need to exchange two uh, planes. There is a feeling here that I don't know why I feel like laughing. Uh, maybe you guys have some Sagittarius energy in your chart as well. You really enjoy traveling. You really enjoy getting to know other people. I feel that your glow up is also going to entail the fact that a lot of people that are not from your home country are going to compliment you. They might say, wow, you're so good looking, wow, you're so intelligent, wow, you're so crafty. Um, maybe some of you have um, a very strong social media presence and you attract people from all over the world. The world also talks about the internet, it talks about the world wide web, so it is about these technological connections that we create sometimes it's um I, I also see this network of neural connections so um the brain right i feel like your glow up will involve a lot of conversations with international people global travel as well it could be that for some of you this glow up comes as a consequence of the fact that you guys either decided to embark on a new course of study or you started your own business and now you have a lot of clients and they congratulate you on doing such a good job. We also have here the nine of inspiration. Yeah, so you're definitely, you're a fighter. In spite of the fact that you come across as very soft, yielding, lenient, you are a creative powerhouse. That's what I'm seeing here. That's what I'm feeling as well. Nine of wands, don't give up. Stand your ground, be resilient. Even if everything has been taken away from you, you have this final thing standing and this is your key out of the mayhem. And for some of you, this is your business. For others of you, it is a new course of study. For others of you, it is just a new lease of life. Um, going someplace that you've always felt like you belong to. Even starting a relationship with somebody that is of a different culture than you. Maybe settling down, getting married. Hmm. We have here the Muse of Emotions. This is the King of Cups. So this talks about um, a limitless sense of creativity. I feel like you are getting messages from the divine, inspiring creative solutions as you rest, as you sleep. <laughs> I'm hearing that some of you are getting it everywhere, like in the supermarket, as you're putting your clothes on, as you're getting ready for your day, as you're in the shower. Some of you will get your best ideas in this period when you are around water, and especially water that moves. So more likely a shower or a river rather than a lake or stagnant puddle water. <laughs> there is something here about flow, right? And about riding the wave of changes. Your glow up is related to your capacity to deal with the unknown, with the uncertain, and to make lemonade out of the lemons that life is giving you. Or turn, you know, turn... Um, Turn stone into water, or water into stone. Turn water from stone. Hmm. Mercury retrograde conundrum. Let's keep it moving. I also have here another card that fell down and I just noticed it. The page of inspiration. So there is something here about changing your hair color. 
You might even get a pet, a cat. <laughs> your glow up is going to be inspired by your capacity to connect with the animal world, to be an animal whisperer, to really give love and affection to a creature that is very different from your own species. There is something here about maybe a lot of you have been carrying like a dark cloud over your head and now finally this cloud is becoming multicolored. I'm also getting that some of you are coming out or you are finally admitting that you are part of the LGBTQ community, you might join it, you might uh, become an ally, a supporter. So it could be that you are sexually coming out or rising into the awareness that um, maybe I prefer same-sex partners or if you are heterosexual, you're coming into the realization that I want to be an ally, I want to help as much as I can. So there is something here about this rainbow of feelings, rainbow of colors, coming back up to life after feeling quite lifeless. So let's see what other things will your glow up entail. I know the makeup is crazy guys, but yeah, just flow with it. I just thought of doing something experimental today. So we have here twin flames, soul, bleh, soul partner, eternal connection. So your glow up is actually either attracting your twin flame or it is connected to your twin flame, you coming into union. For the majority of you, God bless. Um, I feel that some of you had to go through a pretty intense Venus retrograde in Capricorn. And now as the energy is preparing to leave, just six more days of this transit, guys, I feel like you're rising into your power. The tiger can be your animal spirit. And if you wear um, white in this period, you will look stunning. Also golden head pieces, golden um, maybe scarves or golden colored jewelry is really gonna make your, your head you know, stand out. People will be very drawn to your hair, your face. Yeah, there is something here about decorating yourself like the queen that you are. Okay, let's see. Ask. Launch, soar, and request. Yeah, so some of you, I, I love to see how these messages confirm each other. Some of you are actually launching your own business. Phenomenal. Go get it. Go do it. It's going to bring you so much prosperity. So don't second guess yourself. Don't doubt it. Launch it. Maybe wait until the retrogrades are over, which will be the first week of February. Um, before you actually launch, but you're really putting the finishing touches on your business plan, on your vision, and that vision is going to get you out of a financial pickle. So your glow up is going to entail increased self-worth, which will translate into more money and more international connections, potentially owning your own business. And also at the same time, because you know the universe always likes to reward us with a lot <laughs> after periods of intense deprivation you know go figure the universe has its own balance i think that some of you as well are coming into a twin flame union so some of you are getting both your own business and your twin flame union some of you are only getting the business but this is going to make you incredibly happy confident and like you're gonna feel like you can stand in your power without having anybody topple you down. While for others of you, this is primarily going to be related to the emotional expansion of your heart as you're coming into union with your twin flame after what I'm hearing might have been a period of five to six years. I heard six the first time, but I don't know why I felt the need to say five as well. Five to six years of separations, maybe no contact, maybe difficult interactions. Wow, has the waiting been worth it? Yeah. Okay, so I also have here drawing down the moon. This is number 29. Divine feminine, source, channel, and stillness. So I feel like you, you guys could have actually been through the ringer. You might have felt like all of a sudden your life was very emptied of experiences, people, maybe even objects, maybe even money. That was only karmic energy that was vacuumed out of you. And now fresh new energy is coming in. And this is 
a phenomenally intuitive new chapter of your life opening up. A lot of you that chose this group are waking up to the realization that you are witches because we have here the tripartite moon goddess symbol which talks about Hecate or Hestia, the mother maiden crone, Diana Artemis, Nyx, all of these deities that have to deal with the night sky, with witchcraft, with um, divine femininity and practicing occult magic and spells um, during the nighttime when the veil between the worlds is very thin. So I feel like you find your center when you are still. I feel like even if you are pushed against your will into situations of being alone, you finally are learning to appreciate your solitude. You see how your energy feels better. You feel how um, you don't have to take on people's negative influences. You no longer allow people to energetically dump on you. And this protectiveness, this new awareness of the beauty of stillness and the empowering role of stillness in your life is helping you rise into your powers. Not only physical, like pragmatic powers in the 3D world, so not only your skills or your intelligence or your looks, but this is also about the power of the spirit, the power to develop deep inner strength and to endure and to thrive through that endurance. So we also have here new beginnings. I'm getting a very dense, focused, concentrated energy, like somebody preparing its muscles to create a fist and holding that fist, not launching it, not attacking it, but like holding on so tightly to everything that they have acquired. You are incredibly determined at the moment, my God. So new beginnings, you see the doorway is finally opening up. Lord Ganesh, the remover of obstacles in Hindu mythology is finally opening up the doorway, unblocking your path, taking the boulder from your grotto so you can emerge brand new. Spring is gonna be a phenomenal time and especially the first cycle of the new moon in spring, which I think will take place in Pisces in March. So, <clears throat> We also have here again, wow. So again, number 33, the toadstool. So this is your major protective numerological blessing, 33. You can type uh, angel number 33 or uh, 3,333 to get additional messages that will complement this reading that I'm creating here for you. So the toadstool says, Secrets revealed, aha, finally, everyone that has disappointed you, lied to you, held things back from you in order to one-up you, to power trip you, maybe to gaslight you as well. Well, their secrets are gonna come spilling out. This will happen in a beautiful way because you won't need to do anything, not even lift a finger. You will just know, all of a sudden, a friend of yours can send you a post. You might feel the need to Google search something and you might just discover randomly through the law of serendipity, a truth, something that has been kept away from you that will set you free. You will feel so liberated, like, wow, I dodged a bullet in that situation. You know, it's going to feel amazing. So. If it hasn't happened yet, it will happen, okay? And it will enhance your power. It will enhance your beauty because it will, how should I say, these truths that are coming out will only confirm what your intuition already knew very clearly, but you were doubting yourself. So now by coming into this new awareness, all of a sudden you're gonna be like, uh-huh, so I am that good. So my intuition is that sharp. I'm not gonna doubt myself from now on. And this in turn is going to help you do better work, which will launch your business, which will attract more clients, which will also help you come into twin flame union, okay? Because you have this inner knowing, this inner confidence, this strong self-belief. We have here as well, in case you needed a crystal in this period, tangerine quartz, wear it, apply it on your body, put it next to your nightstand, put it next to the place where you work, Tangerine Quartz is what's going to lift you up to this new state of empowerment. The keyword here is Shakti, Solar Plexus Chakra, so the Divine Feminine Energy, she who is all, she who creates the creative cosmos. But it's also a reliance on emotions as leading you forward. If in the past you were very 
connected to logical deductions and you only follow the beaten track rules and regulations established by the patriarchal system in which we live at the moment you're like i'm going to go a bit ancestral on the situation i'm going to rewild myself a little bit and what i'm going to do is i'm going to trust my inner fire my deep feminine knowledge my feminine intuition and if you are a man watching this this is your anima activating to such an extent that you will draw confidence from your body from your feelings and not from your mind you hear the alarm outside sorry about this guy but this is confirmation guy <laughs> guys this is confirmation of what i was uh, picking up on and the deity that is supporting you in this period is none other than odas she who resists fearless justified resistant your glow up comes from the fact that you have been incredibly determined incredibly perseverant you have a very kind heart and a lot of people might have wanted to take advantage of it but through it all through every setback you got up and you kept going you did not give up you kept moving we had it here at the beginning with the nine of inspiration the nine of wands you are a resistant tough cookie even though you might be feeling like a mermaid soul even though you could feel like you dissolve into other people's identities from time to time you are incredibly strong and your vulnerability your flexibility your adaptability is what makes you so strong determined and at the moment your glow up is going to entail deep self-belief you are gonna love yourself accept yourself and feel so confident in your powers like you've never been before in your life so this is the reading that i had for you group one i wanted to say group two already the energy of group two is interfering so very impatient crew but if you would like to work with me or if you would like any other goodies or any other pieces of information check the link in the description box below and until next time have an amazing glow up you are radiant mm -hmm. Hey group two, hello my loves, welcome to your glow up, pick a card reading. This is for those of you that were drawn to this queen of hearts card. Very regal, right? Very beautiful, very balanced. I can also see a bride here, so mm -hmm. interesting. Number 32, as I did with the previous pile, I'm going to read you the additional in-depth message that this card is coming with from the... Um, love your inner goddess guidebook from Alana Fairchild you guys are a little bit tired because the flow of how I pronounce words it's almost like I'm running out of breath you're a little bit tired my queen of hearts let's see what empowering messages I have for you before I live shuffle the tarot deck and I show you the oracle cards so your heart has been chosen by the divine to be a temple for spiritual light an inner place where grace and healing can dwell this is very special a temple is kept clean and pure, scented with sacred perfumes of incense, made beautiful with our feelings of reverence and love for the spirit, kept uncluttered and spacious so that as much spiritual presence as possible can enter. When spirit enters and fills the temple of the heart, things of extraordinary beauty take place. Even the apparently impossible becomes possible. Clear your heart temple with forgiveness, gratitude, and love for the spirit so it can fulfill its divine destiny of being a sacred channel for your beautiful grace. So my loves, indeed, I feel like you are holding on to a burden that you need to let go of. I also think that this will affect how you look and how you feel and your energy levels. For a moment I hesitated because I can feel that a lot of you have been very hard on yourselves. Um, you're measuring yourself up against this thing that will not manifest for you because God is protecting you from that which you want because it is not what you need. You need to let go of a job, you need to let go of a project, a family situation or a relationship, especially a relationship for the majority of you that is just not serving your highest good. If you push into this direction, you will continue to sabotage your self-empowerment and self-acceptance process and your, grow, your glow up. I wanted to say grow up. Oh, oh, your grow up <laughs> will be stunted. I don't think it's about that. I think you guys are quite mature, but you're dazzled at the moment by something dark, something that has taken such a hold on, on you 
and on itself hmm, there's a codependency here lack of boundaries because it's like almost you don't know where you end and where the other person begins you are codependently connected most likely to an individual that is increasingly falling into their shadow self, their darker nature. So protect your light, detach, let them go, let them be, let God come through and help you out. I know that might sound weird, I know you might not want to do that, but it's it's for everyone's highest good. Because by detaching from this person, you're also doing them a favor, you're helping them grow up as you glow up okay that was the interference there so you need to separate your identity from that of that thing that has been holding you under its grasp taking your power away you are more powerful than that thing that you willingly gave your power to whether it is a marriage whether it is your children it could even be um you know a romantic partner that you can't get over it's really important to make the decision and once the decision is made to focus on what you can generally control in order to activate your glow up and what you can control is your body how you take care of it the food that you put into your body your environment has your house been gathering dust is there a lot of clutter in your house let things go Marie Kondo your environment and you will feel a sense of ease okay and you don't have to agree with Marie Kondo but just cleaning up the place in which you live is energetically shifting the past separating it from the present does that make sense so that was the initial really powerful indication I feel like you guys are on a cusp of a very big change but you're delaying it by holding on to this individual that is just not good for you it's just not good I feel that I feel how charming this person can be and I feel how <sighs> Yeah, I'm not going to go into the whole devil, demonic uh, allure, but it's a very Lucifer-like quality, you know? Let's see, so we have here eight of emotions. Yeah, walk away, walk away now, because the darkness will swallow you. This person's darkness will swallow you. This person could even like very gently coerce you to engage into toxic habits. Be very careful. Walk away, my queen of hearts, walk away. You are not going to change this person through your kind heart. You should enter relationships with people where you accept them just as they are and they accept you just as you are not relationships where you enter with the intention to save that person every psychologist in this world is going to tell you it will never work out and in the process you might lose yourself so don't test your strength on somebody else and try not to change them but pull your energy back into yourself because you are the light in this encroaching darkness Oof. And for the majority of you, this is a romantic connection with somebody that you stubbornly want to believe that this person is your twin flame or your soulmate and they might just be a karmic challenger. In some cases, a nemesis. If you don't know what a nemesis is, I published an article on my website, thespiritualsocial.com and you can have a look and read there. We have here the queen of voices. Yeah. So this is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. I feel that this could be more Libra in this situation. I feel like you are being energetically forced into the direction of making a choice that is ultimately good for you. At the moment, you might not feel that it's good for you, but your glow up, your power up for a second, I had to stop myself from saying your power up will involve and it started snowing outside guys how beautiful purity more purity is coming into your life after a period of toxicity how gorgeous exactly in your reading you are being showered with abundance and prosperity with a sense of renewed purity and vigor the moment you make this decision to let that person go okay my good darlings i know you can do it i know it might be hard but I just see it here, you know, like with the Eight of Emotions next to the Queen of Swords, you need to cut things. You need to like severe the energetic cords between you and this person. You have to do something that is 
just over being kind. You have to be a little bit cruel to be kind in this connection at the moment, for the time being. There's nothing that says that maybe later on along the line you might reconnect with this person, but at the moment it's not serving your highest good and it's not helping you grow and glow. I should have that on a t-shirt. <laughs> I just feel the need to introduce some humor into this reading because I feel how difficult it is and how much you're resisting this. I feel like how a lot of you will say, but no, Lexi, but no, I don't want to give this person up. I know it's hard to leave people behind. I know because you always wonder, what if I did something? What if I regret it? But what if you let this person go and all of a sudden your energy comes back to life, your desire to eat, to take very good care of yourself comes back to life. You're gonna start making better choices. You're gonna start earning more money. What if your health brings itself back into balance? What about that? What if you start attracting more partners than you actually imagined or better partners, if not more? Risk it. That's my advice to you. But this is just a general reading, so feel free to just take it as you wish. Let's see the oracle cards that I have here. So we have number 21, guide. The keywords are the illuminated path. It's like you've been in the darkness with this person and all of a sudden somebody opens the door to the basement and it's like, la, come, walk through, walk through. But in the case in which, for some of you out there, in the case in which this is an abusive relationship, you might not even see the door, even though the door has been open a very long time. The light has been pouring through, but you're just so focused on what you grew accustomed to and what is familiar. So my advice is not only to uh, get out into the light, but also call on your friends to help you do it if you can't do it on your own or family members. I feel that you will have mentors, guides, allies, maybe even just strangers, you know, the kindness of strangers. They will help you out, okay? So I know that this entails a deep leap of faith because you're going to have to trust the world and maybe with this person there was a very us against the world mentality which you need to break through because the world is always for you and the world is always this gigantic playground where we're learning a lot of lessons some of which can be pleasurable others more painful but lessons nonetheless so you're going to have to get out of the space and truly walk on your path because it is being illuminated at the moment. Being in nature, being around trees, being in gardens, maybe even gardening or taking care of somebody's like overgrown bushes or something like that, you know, a neighbor's lawn or something like that. Walking barefoot as well, so that you can grab tiny stones, so that you can maybe even walk barefoot on the beach, even though it's cold outside. I strongly suggest that you get this a foot to earth connection or that you just like rest your head next to a tree you really need this replenishment you really need this natural medicine at the moment there is a wolf here the wolf is your protector the wolf is your animal spirit loyalty fierceness but also walking on your own being independent yeah okay so let's see the other cards seeing things differently yes Yes, so uh, all of a sudden the rosy colored glasses, the illusion that you have been feeding yourself is going to come off and it's going to facilitate this beautiful inner light that you have been giving to somebody else because I feel that you have this gorgeous inner light for yourself. You've been giving it to this person, to that project, to that family situation and now you're recuperating it. Yeah. So we have here uniqueness, roles and variation. You need to have more in your life open yourself up to options you might have jumped into this connection with this person because you were afraid of being alone you were afraid of going through the pandemic on your own you were afraid that you know you might have needed a protector but here is the universe calling out to you saying it is safe to let this go we have so much more for you why are you like eating breadcrumbs when we want to give you some macaroons you know <laughs> So you're going to like remove the wool from the eyes, you're going to take down the rosy colored glasses and you're going to start seeing yourself especially in a beautiful bright new light. So your glow up entails 
a reconsideration, a revaluing of what you bring into this world, of the ways in which you see yourself, you have so much value. You're the queen of hearts, not just of one heart, but many hearts. You're a beautiful little heartbreaker, but this is an untapped potential. I'm not just saying, you know, go around in the world and break everybody's hearts, but open yourself up energetically to other opportunities, to better environments, to better relationships, because you might find that they will just happen and that might surprise you and that might give you renewed faith in the world rather than a feeling that the world is against me and I'm scared I'm just gonna grab the first relationship that just pops up into my life and lock myself into it you could be locking yourself into a karmic stronghold of deep pain resentment which might lead into physical illness so be very careful okay now we have here the mirror magic lunar light past life spectrum self-care i think you need to spend a lot of time in the mirror and <laughs> like in the mirror <laughs> mirror mirror on the wall who's the fairest of them all right maybe you were educated to shy away from mirrors maybe uh, a mother or a father shouted at you every time when you looked at yourself in the mirror maybe they called you names and they made you feel ashamed for wanting to look good to experiment with your looks enough of that you are an adult now i hope if you're watching my channel and you need to step into doing whatever it is that you feel like doing whatever your soul is calling you to do look at yourself in the mirror say how beautiful you are say i love myself i accept myself i approve of myself if you want to experiment with makeup experiment with makeup if you want to change your clothing style exchange your clothing style shake it up exchange maybe you might want to participate in a clothing exchange with a couple of your friends who knows but shake things up look at yourself in the mirror make yourself feel good look at your strengths and your weaknesses we all have these physically we all have a beautiful balance of imperfections but also naturally god-given gifts find yours stop looking in the mirror and saying like oh i'm so ugly oh only imperfections because this is the energy that attracts manipulating people towards you. You have to value yourself. You could be having strong energy in the second house, the house of self-worth, and you might be challenged by that. I had to take a deep breath of um, the sigh, you know, the sigh of relief, because I myself am on that path as well with a lot of a cluster of planets in the second house, really giving me some strong karmic lessons regarding my body, food, how I find stability in life and how I rise into my self-worth. So if I could do it, you can do it too, okay? I feel like we're on the same level and I trust in you and I believe in you. Let's see the other cards. Oh yeah, oh yeah, boundaries. Start saying no. I feel like you are a sweetheart. You constantly want to give to people. You constantly want to please other people and people have been taking advantage of this. You might be at the moment in a connection with a narcissist, with a manipulator, somebody that might look very good but might have very awful intentions, hiding things behind your back, taking your energy away from you, not giving you what you want and only taking what they want. This selfishness has to stop and you have the power to put an end to it. How? By simply saying no, no thank you, no, I can take care of myself, no, I'd rather choose stillness and silence tonight over listening to you, giving to you, catering to you. You will be protected, better opportunities will come up, I guarantee you, having been in a similar position in my past. So, rise into your strength, activate that power and your glow up is ensured. So, we also have here love spell. And it says here, attract a lover. Yes, you are going to attract somebody much, much better. It is guaranteed here. Look, we also, yeah, there's a beautiful, wow, there's a beautiful synchronicity between the Love Your Inner Goddess deck and the Sacred Unicorns Oracle, uh, sorry, Enchanted Oracles, uh, Enchanted Unicorns Oracle. Thank you, Mercury Retrograde. So we have here 32 and 32. So 3,000. 3,200, What? I didn't say that correctly. Oh my God. 3232 32 is your <laughs> love angel number. Wow, is my brain completely short-circuited right now by this energy. I just felt a sudden swelling up of 
warmth in my body. So what I wanted to say, 3232 or just 32 angel love number or you can use 3232 that was the angel love number but I was momentarily taken aback like my logical mind went on pause because I felt this it's almost like something kind of hugged me from behind and there was so much warmth in the sacral region of my body and the solar plexus so guaranteed, you have a protective energy around you. <laughs> Maybe you transmitted this energy to me so I become aware of it so that I confirm this to you. Wow, okay. So don't worry, my love. Your words, your thoughts, your body, your movements in this world are like a love spell. They will attract a new lover. In case you needed a crystal in this period, I have here for you Larimar, the energy of Neptune and also perspective you need to detach from the situation and get a hold of a bigger perspective what would you like your life to be in five years time and who would you like to have by your side what would you like to have achieved by then can you achieve it with the person that you are in a connection with at the moment if yes keep pushing if no which is most likely then look for something better and finally, the goddess that I have here for you is Maputla, she who guides new path, guide and renewal. New path, guide and renewal. God, and I feel so hungry all of a sudden. I can feel how people have been draining your energy. They've been eating from you um, in ways, in unseen ways, you know, taking your energy, taking your beauty. The moment when you decide to let go of this connection, you are activating your glow up. You're going to look better. You're going to feel better. You're going to attract a beautiful new partner that will feel like a wish coming true, like a love spell has been performed. So Maputla, this beautiful ice queen, is the one that guides you on this new path, okay? Draw some healthy boundaries because you are worth so much better, my love. And you are guided down this beautiful path by unseen presences, one of which communicated with me in this reading for you today. So that's what I had for you, group two. God bless you, my beautiful, kind-hearted empaths. I'm sending you so much light. If you would like to work with me or if you want to have a look at other goodies, Check the description in the box down below, blah, 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 blah. I hate advertising for myself. But anyway, you have everything you need underneath this video. And I hope to see you in my next one. Hey, group three, welcome to a pick a card reading on the topic of your glow up. This is for those of you that were drawn to the Starborn card. And I'm going to read you the in-depth message from Alana Fairchild's book, Oracle Deck. <laughs> Before I dive into the Muse Tarot and I show you the pre-shuffled oracle cards that I have here for you, I did have to adjust the camera angle because the light is shifting through my windows. So let's see, number 21, Starborn. What do you need to know at the moment, my loves, to help you with your glow up, to activate it or to help you celebrate it if you already feel like you're incredibly empowered in this period? So, Starborn. You have a strong spiritual connection with the universe. Trust your intuition and your inner feelings about things, especially when your inner feeling is at odds with the appearance of something. Sometimes it is when it seems like the least is happening that the most important thing is actually taking place. Just you cannot see it yet. You have a special and deeply spiritual life purpose to fulfill. You cannot get there with logic and planning. Your spirit knows how to guide you and the universe knows how to support you. Following your heart along with your spiritual path is going to lead you to your best, brightest and most beautiful life success. So <clears throat> I could already feel some interferences at the moment because my voice was a little bit trembling. I have a feeling that you guys could have been challenged in your communications by other people, by the powers that be. I feel like this is my rebel group, star seeds, uh, light workers. Those of you that feel like you come from other planets, like you don't know what exactly you're doing here on earth, you didn't sign up for this, you might not even want to stay here for too long, in which case I hope you reconsider because we need you. There is a feeling here that you are rebellious, unique, not because you have an agenda and because you want to one-up the man or the establishment, but it's because this is who you are. You are just very different from everyone else. And I have a feeling that Spirit is saying, 
Your glow up entails a complete surrender of trying to fit in, trying to dim your light to become somebody who you're not. You are carving your own niche. You are gathering your specific group of people. You're making a very unique soul tribe around you or attracting it towards you. And I have a feeling that this is creating some doubts, some fears inside of you, whether you have what it takes to actually launch these things, to go on this path, to go solo, to become this tribe leader, to become this, you know, um, the leader of a team, the leader of your social group. I'm trying to think what you guys are making at the moment because you are building something, you're creating something. And I think that you guys will be at the forefront of the Pluto and Aquarius revolution that will start next year in March. So we have here the two, no, the seven of materials, the two. Hmm. Thanks, Mercury Retro. Um, the seven of materials block. Do you feel like at the moment you cannot plant seeds? Maybe because you haven't found your soil. It's like you're looking, you're looking for a space where to root into. You want to build, but you don't know exactly where or how. So there is a state of uncertainty, which I am just going to unblock for you. There we go. So you are going to find your way, okay? It could be a bit of an intense ride, black and white, but eventually you're coming up roses, yeah? So don't worry, it's going to be okay. Just keep focusing on who you are, resisting the influence of other people who are trying to put you down. You are incredibly beautiful. You have like this light emanating from your eyes, especially. You've got a very unique way of dressing yourself up. You might even like to wear costume jewelry. You might like to do crazy makeup like you see here in this video today. Um, you're inspired, you're creative. You see, she has this mask, but it's lifted off her head. So she knows who she is, but at the same time, she likes to play a part from time to time. It's just having the finesse of knowing how not to get lost in the game that you initiated. And you do have that intelligence. You're highly emotionally intelligent as well. So we have here the Ten of Inspiration, the Ten of Wands. A very tough cycle is completing right now. Right now, in the moment when I'm creating this reading for you, you are putting the finishing touches on a very difficult karmic cycle. I need you to be aware of the fact that your uniqueness and the fact that you're resisting conformity is also teaching other people around you about how to accept uniqueness. If all of us would just give up and stop being rebellious, we wouldn't be able to teach other people around us, here is how you need to treat me, here is how you should embrace my difference. Try to open up your mind to something that is different than what you normally expect and the habituated pattern of thinking that you have in your mind. So it's moving against mental laziness, the mental laziness that a lot of people tend to fall into. You're challenging that. You're giving people shocks of awareness. You could have Aquarius energy somewhere prominent on your ascendant, your moon. I know I created readings and birth charts for a lot of Aquarius moons out there. So there is a feeling here that you're, you've got a lot of tricks and creative ideas and solutions up your um <laughs> up your sleeve in your bag you see how she's holding this for a second i was distracted because my table seems to be running away from me <laughs> so maybe you start off things that you can't control afterwards maybe you've got that midas touch it's like you come up with an idea you release it and all of a sudden it's trending you know it explodes in the collective and you're like oh did i create that I didn't think about all of the aspects of me releasing that, but then again, I created it, so there you go. So you've got like it girl, it boy quality. There is something about you, you're like a trendsetter, you know, you're like a, the fire starter. <laughs> Metaphorically speaking, I hope not materially and pragmatically speaking okay stay away from making fires guys because it's they're hard to control. <laughs> um, there is something here about you maybe opening people up to new experiences, new ideas, new feelings. Um, I feel that some of you that chose this group could be intersex or trans as well, or you're considering a gender um, or sex change operation. 
I wanted to say a gender reformation, like a, an identity shift. So you're getting the world to accept you for how you are by breaking through the, limited, the limiting conditions of what we think is male and female, what we think is traditional and progressive. It's like you're treading the fine line between the two. That is one of your secret superpowers. We have here the lovers. I think that very soon you're gonna fall in love. If you're not already in love with somebody, this is a very good individual for you. This is somebody who is like a kindred spirit, somebody that's going to help you on the path. And if you are indeed in between changing sexes, or if you are trans, or you know, you're just part of the LGBTQ community, you're gonna find a partner that will be your ally, that will be your supporter, somebody that might be going through the same thing as you, somebody that is just out there you know um out there but by by your side you know like i see this person holding your hand you know holding your hand and letting you know it's gonna be okay you know you don't have anything to worry about because i feel that some of you could be afraid of violence and um i think that you are very attractive and you might attract the random unconscious shadow cell violent attitudes of certain people that live at a very low level of development you know those people that just absorb everything that society their culture tells them to and they don't think for themselves you know those are the most dangerous people out there people who are lazy thinkers fortunately increasingly more and more of us are waking up so i feel that you're going to find your tribe you're going to find your group but let's see right now what the cards have to say. What makes you so unique, so beautiful, so special? So we have here the portal, number one. You're a path opener, a path breaker. Yeah, yeah, a pioneer. I think that if you can't find a job that you uh, enjoy, if you can't find a relationship that you feel like you fit into or a social group, uh, it's because you need to create it on your own. You need to self-start. And you've got the intelligence, you've got the creativity. There's just something otherworldly about you. Yes, definitely with a starborn energy here. So infinite mind, awakening consciousness, exactly what I was talking about. I'm so happy that I see this. Some of you could do something completely drastic with your hair, like you might decide to poof up your hair or wear it in a more natural style. Um, maybe this is connected to roots, to your tribal ancestry, and you're going to honor that in the coming period, no longer needing to conform to rules and regulation. It's like, I'm going to be me, and I'm going to be me in a natural way, just like God and my ancestors and my lineage decided to make me. And for some of you, this could actually be challenging the status quo. For example, if you're an African-American person wearing incredibly wild and curly hair, your natural, beautiful self, um, can be seen as a challenge. So you might want to straighten it to fit into the white uh, female ideals of beauty, you know, but you're gonna you're gonna be incredibly brave and you're gonna be like, you know what? I'm gonna go natural and I don't care. And that's what's going to empower other people to do the same. Others of you are considering um, operations, so you're considering surgery, and I feel like you're tired of looking at images of perfection, unrealistic beauty standards, you know, like maybe you've been looking at the Kardashians wanting to have their lips or their eyes or their noses. Now you're just gonna be like, you know what, I'm just gonna age gracefully and that's it, you know. It saves me money, it helps me be more relaxed, and by doing this, by making the decision to remain uncompromisingly you, you are inspiring other people around you to be as brave, to not conform, to not give in. Okay, so this is what I see for the majority of you. It's like you're opening doors left and right, opening people's minds, you know? And for some people, this can be a very uncomfortable process, especially the unawakened, unevolved ones. So they might retaliate because maybe violence and maybe trauma and... Uh, instead of using their mental faculties or their communicative skills, maybe they just jump into action. This is the pattern that they know. They don't know anything else. So I know it's, again, falling on the shoulders of the awakened one to be the understanding one, but you, you can do it. You've got this innate ability to educate people in your environment, and that's what makes you so amazing, and that's part of your radiant inner light. We also have here as well decision, choice, opportunity, and selection, 
I wanted to say skeleton for a moment, so I misread that word, but maybe it's not a misreading. Maybe some of you have had some issues with the bones. Maybe you felt some pain in the bones. Um, I felt them too, guys, um, especially since the new moon in Scorpio in November last year. Big energetic gateway, so many downloads. Oh my goodness, I've traveled astrally so often in the last months. And if you are getting these mysterious bone density issues, uh, bone pain, first of all, it's caused by all the Capricornian energy that we started 2022 with. So don't worry, it will pass. And second of all, it's a sign of ascension. And um, I feel that that was just a side note message for some of you that really resonated with the skeleton thing. But let's come back to the decision. I feel that when you guys decide to build something, when you guys decide that I'm really going to invest my all in the situation and rather than be aloof and remote from the society in which I feel like I don't want to belong into, I'm going to do something to help elevate it. When you make this decision, that's when you truly shine. That's ensuring your glow up. When you open up a center to help people with maybe mysterious symptoms, when you provide safe spaces for LGBTQ teens that are trying to exist in the world without the threat of violence, when you maybe support women, start their own businesses, you know, if there is a feeling here that you're just like, you're protecting vulnerable people in the patriarchy. You're like, and like freeing their spirit, you know? Because um, to a certain extent, we are all slaves of the capitalistic system, but it's like you're finding loopholes, you're finding um, <laughs> portals where none of us maybe thought of that before. So, wow, please use your skills in the service of the collective, okay? You will make the world more familiar, more loving, but it needs to start with a decision for you to be more active in it rather than removed from it. We need you. We really, really need you. So we also have here Brigid or Bridget or Bridge. <laughs> Her name is pronounced in many different ways. We have here Psychic Flames. <laughs> and again, 333 disappeared in Groupon. So maybe you listen to Groupon too. Mm -hmm. I'm on to you. <laughs> so we have here Sacred Milk Druid Magic. So Bridge is really celebrated in Irish cultures. Um, she's mostly seen as a stern religious figure, but increasingly she's being um, revered as a pagan goddess or how she was before Christianity took over. So there is something here, flaming hair, right? Flaming red hair, uh, being so connected at the crown chakra level with other dimensions, being incredibly passionate, wanting to fight for the just good cause. Please use your passion, your energy, your drive, your special skills and extrasensorial abilities, your clear audience, your clear gustance, your clairvoyance to elevate the collective. Don't give up on us, <laughs> rather teach us. You know, this is, this is maybe the motto you might want to live your life according to. I'm sure that you have a variety of other motives by which you live, but there is something here about giving people the sacred milk, you know, feeding the collective. It's a very strong Aquarius imagery of the, of the human that is feeding the collective with the pitcher, right? It's like nourishing the collective, feeding them, giving them fresh information to help them progress, to help them do better, to help them rise above their lowly animalistic needs. So we also have here answers. You're a person that comes up with answers to the many questions the majority of us are posing. You have a very guru, shaman-like quality. You might even be a witch, yeah, an occult practitioner. And you see how much light is coming into your reading to the point where I have to actually change my body position so that you can still see my face and the cards in a very clear light. So we also have here Cupcake, the body positive card. And again, we have the rainbow. So yeah, it um, it talks about the trans intersex, maybe, you know, non-binary energy that I was picking up on earlier. Uh, you could also be an ally. You don't have to be part of these groups, but there is something here that you're going to get the last laugh. You're going to get the cherry on top of the cake. Um, not in a way that it breaks your back, but um, in a way that you're going to have 
to experience more sweetness in your life the older you get. Your glow up is not something that just happens overnight and it's just pertaining to a period of time. It's like, wow, in these two months you are looking extraordinary. This is something you're born with. You have this inner glow. It's like you have one of the, you know, when you go to parties, to these raves and you have those glow sticks that you dance with it's like you have one inbuilt into your body like iron man and his device right that keeps his heart beating <laughs> there's something here and it's interesting because you know the core of the earth is iron anyway yeah so very connected very magnetically pulled um towards the core of this earth even though you want to be somewhere else <laughs> on orion you know um You've got, you've got a big mission here to fulfill, no pressure. Um, and also you want to inspire people to love their bodies more, to accept their bodies, uh, because you love your body and you accept your body. If you decide to just accept yourself for who you really are, as I said at the beginning with the example with the surgery, the plastic surgery, um, and with the ancestral, you know, I'm gonna accept my cultural heritage, my skin color, my hair, my thighs, my legs, anything that you might, previously have suffered from if you decide to if you decide to accept these things and talk to people about these about your self-love and self-acceptance process you're really going to empower generations to come so that can be part of the process you're doing here and if you need a crystal i have here the herkimer diamond and this is the earth star chakra so yeah oof, way above way above the normal seven chakra systems that we have in our bodies and it says here alignment oh my god your energy is amazing i'm so happy to connect with you group three wow and i also have here a protective deity so this is shiala she who creates and her keywords are creativity originality and spontaneity so unleash that sexy wild imagination of yours you're brimming with ideas you're downloading things a mile a minute it's incredible how connected you are to something higher up and for a moment i wanted to say coupled as well i feel that for some of you your glow up is going to involve another person falling in love with somebody because we had yeah we had the lovers here wow Okay, I don't want to make this reading too long. I feel like I need to end it here. You are amazing, out of this world amazing, literally, as you saw in the cards. If you want to work with me, if you want to see other tidbits and interesting things, um, please check the description box underneath this video. And up until next time, please take care of your light and I can't wait to see you again. Hey group four, I'm so happy to have you here at the pick a card reading on the topic of your glow up. So this is for those of you that were drawn to the beautiful bandit card, one of my favorites as well. As I did with all the other piles, I'm going to read you the in-depth message that this card brings forth for you from this Love Your Inner Goddess Oracle book by Alana Fairchild, one of my favorite spiritual teachers. So the beautiful bandit. You can choose right now to feel good about yourself. Mm -hmm. If you've been beating yourself up, stop it now. Don't let anyone else decide how you should feel about yourself. Taking responsibility for your actions means that when you have done something that you feel is out of your integrity, you do something about it that is constructive and useful. Damning yourself with judgment or allowing another to steal your self-esteem is neither one of those things. The Divine Mother is telling you to forgive yourself and use your energy now to live the best life that you can. It's time to take your life back. Wow, okay. So you might need to be a little bit tough with the people around you in this period. You might need to not explain, but just hold everything that you have for yourself. It might sound weird. Maybe you're thinking that... I'm just trying to see if there is an affirmation here. Yeah, there is an affirmation. I feel like you might benefit from hearing it. It might sound weird to say that, oh, I need to pull my energy back into myself. What will happen to me? But this fear of missing out needs to be momentarily silenced so that your true power can come out. And for this, you have to pull your energy backwards before you are able to come out into the world again. You can say the following, I claim the entirety of my divine inheritance. 
all that is rightfully mine through divine justice and divine mercy is now returned to me through my own free will so mote it be yeah so let's see what the muse tarot has to say regarding your glow up so this is a deep moment of taking your power back saying no no longer doing things for people because you're noticing that they are no longer willing to compromise for you or sacrifice for you or just like give to you you know like even say thank you for everything that you have done for me so when push comes to shove prioritize yourself in this period okay and do it shamelessly and do it without guilt because you stand to benefit from this yes it's time to drop the juggle you could be in between two connections one of them has to go you could be in between two job situations one of them has to go or you could be questioning where whether you should live on your own or stay with your parents make the decision now because this pendulating in between two options is really draining you of your energy and i feel that you're ready for your glow up so let's open up this card for you and I do feel that the moment that you see this energy, you're going to be able to drop a rose. <laughs> I see she's here. She's uh, holding these roses here. Yeah, you're going to be able to just like, you know what? I think I'm done entertaining this other version of me. I think I'm just going to commit to being a certain authentic me that I want to experience in this reality because you already have everything you want inside of yourself it's not a case that you should look around other people and kind of like model yourself after them it's good to have role models but it's also good to tune into what do I want who am I really what is happening here and I don't know why I'm making this sign I'm not sure exactly what it represents but maybe the sign is significant to you I also have here the 10 of emotions blocked so all this indecision has been draining you of energy just like the hair is attaching to my nose so yeah sticky situations you found yourself in sticky situations because you are unable to just say enough with this i'm sticking to this commitment your glow up is going to involve you finally committing to something and i think that this will be personal happiness you finally deciding to be happy understanding that your happiness is your own responsibility that you need to claim it you need to envision it 444 when i said that you need to go for it you know it's like i want to be happy and i want to build a life on happiness not automatically reacting to what everything i have been accustomed to and this is your moment of power this is your true glow up much like the sun is making my hair radiate right now all of a sudden you're pulling in the sun into your life by just simply saying i want to be here i'm going to commit to myself and i'm going to commit to my personal happiness we also have here the nine of materials so this talks about really valuing yourself, valuing your body, valuing your bank account, no longer making random purchases, no longer wasting your money. You know, sometimes I remember that we talk, I talked to some of my friends when I was younger about this. If you weren't taught financial responsibility from your parents or the environment in which you grew up in, it's going to be very hard to hold on to money because you feel like the moment you earn it that you should spend it but i feel like you're conserving this energy because you're rising into your self-worth you understand better who you are and what your skills are and how sh you should prize them or value them i'm getting a sense that you will earn more money and you'll be able to hold on to it you'll be able to maybe invest it in further money making opportunities or in good causes or in supporting the arts or in new technological achievements like non-fungible tokens or in cryptocurrencies things like that whatever you want to spend your money on i'm not here to tell you in which avenue you should go but there is something here about understanding that it's nice to sit with money you know you don't have to spend it immediately that it's good to rely on your savings account when you're trying to make a transition from one job to another to give yourself some time to rest you know um, maybe you might be using money or taking some money out from your savings account to pay for counseling sessions or a therapist in the case in which you find it difficult to leave a relationship a romantic connection or uh, a situation where your parents are very sticky with you so maybe you need to work on deep deep inner feelings um, with the help of somebody that is 
you know, creating this safe holding space for you. Others of you, I think you're just going to um, treat yourself more. I feel that you deserve it. I feel a little out of breath in your reading, so maybe you're doing something very, very fast, very quick. There were a lot of interruptions before I was ready to actually um, start your reading, and I'm also noticing how the crazy makeup that you see here is starting to kind of get messy. Maybe you guys are naturally a little bit messy, a little bit heads in the clouds. There's nothing wrong with that. But I feel that at the moment, it's kind of like you're bringing more solidity in your life. So you're grow. <laughs> Again, just like with group one, your glow up is also your grown up. It's like your moment of hashtag adulting. Um, I feel that you're becoming more responsible. This is what your glow up will entail. More money in the bank account, the capacity for you to maintain it, preserve it, invest it wisely. Uh, maybe saving some money for a rainy day, maybe to purchase your own home, uh, maybe to uh, do something physically to amp up your self-worth, taking care maybe of your teeth or making um, purchases that really emphasize how you look, maybe buying better clothes, better shoes, better bags, something like that. There is a feeling here that you're truly coming into your own. Maybe you're actually um, getting on meal plans and, you know, buying a gym membership, something that just will help you flourish and will help you truly stand in your power. Now, let's see the oracle cards that I have here for you. Um, I'm going to begin with this one first. Touching earth. We have here planting something new. This is number 12. Touching the earth. I think that your glow up is actually going to entail a lot of gifts from other people. So after a period of time where you might have felt like something was taken away from you or that it's like you always had to ask, you felt like a bandit, like uh, you had to sneak around and steal uh, maybe certain things from people um, or just appropriate them or just ask them often, can I please have money for this? Can I please do this? You know, maybe you had to ask for permission or maybe you had asked you had some money put aside for, for you, but there was no access to it. Yeah, and I'm getting that a, an impatience. It's like, I want it now, I want it quick. Also a sense of irritation. I think that your mind, your mind is really clustered with thoughts at the moment. I strongly suggest that you go outside and you get a little bit grounded. You've been spending too much time indoors, too connected to technology. Uh, that's a side note. But another note is that finally some gifts are coming to you. Finally, your capacity to manifest and attract will be rewarded. I also have here number 43, unity, connectedness, harmony, and equilibrium. So your glow up is actually going to be about feeling centered, coming to a space where you can actually feel like you're aligned, like people are not bothering you, they're not triggering you, they're not um, pulling you out of yourself. You know, like when somebody says something that is really annoying or they're not being very um, outwardly, openly critical with you. They're like a bit passive aggressive and you kind of feel a little bit irritated. It's like, why did you say that? What, why would you think this about me, you know? Well, that's also, first of all, um, a bit of manipulation. So maybe you might need better friends um, or better people around you. But there is a feeling here that you won't allow people to bother you anymore. And I think this is coming from the fact that you're rising into your own decision-making abilities. You're going to uh, actually say, this is what I commit to. This is what I can let go of. And as you're doing this, you're starting to glow. You're starting to become super responsible. People start perceiving you with more trustworthiness. Whereas in the past, maybe you were a little messy, a little wishy-washy. And this is actually going to keep you from being triggered. It's like, I know who I am. I know how much money I'm earning. I know how I take care of my body and my health and my wealth. I know what I'm good at. Because I think that for some of you with this unity card, you could actually be completing a cycle regarding your skills. So you could be getting a diploma, a certificate after a long period of hard work and dedication. So congratulations with that. So we also have here secret seances. <laughs> Secret seances, spirit world, messages, assistance, and memories. Oh, yeah. I don't know why, but I'm getting fairy energy around you. So you could be seeing things with the corners of your eyes. There have been some light fluctuations in your reading as well. 
I feel that also you're able to you're able to pick up on messages from your protective spirits. You see how her eyes are closed, but there are these butterflies. And then there are these ghost-like presences. It's almost like they might encircle her. So it's like moments when you are still, moments when you can go outside and touch the earth, touch grass, you know, are those moments when all of a sudden there's magic coursing through you. It's like your energy is telling you through your body exactly what you need to do, what decision to make. So rather than asking around, shopping for decisions or shopping for ideas, it's like you're starting to trust your body intuitive knowledge. Might sound weird what I'm saying right now, but I feel like you're coming to a place of wholeness with the unity card there. Oh, there we go. It's because you're reaching a state of deep inner peace created by your self-love. So it's like you're no longer feeling annoyed when people criticize you, when they tell you how you should be. Um, you're no longer feeling aroused by compliments either. So there is this beautiful thing that happens when you love yourself. It's like when people give you compliments, you already know what you're good at. So you're no longer like, oh my God, really? Do you think I'm that amazing? You don't doubt it. You're like, thank you. I, I know, you know, I worked for that or I became aware of that natural talent. Thank you. It's nice that you see it too, but I already know that about myself. You know, so people cannot actually manipulate you by actually um, amping up your ego like some other individuals might be placed in this position so there are two things happening here you're no longer triggered when people mention your defects because you're starting to accept yourself more you're starting to love yourself more so you're in integrating your shadow self into your conscious awareness and if people criticize you it's like that's just your opinion you know i'm okay with me <laughs> it's like the big lebowski you know that's just like your opinion dude um and at the same time compliments also don't affect you to that extent where you're like super eager to do things for other people just so that they could keep the compliments going you know so it's true true self-love that is activating for you right now and i think it's inspired by maybe the transit of a specific planet maybe you have jupiter and pisces transiting your eighth house your 12th house <laughs> speaking of mistakes i'm really bothered by this sorry guys i'm gonna have to cleanse it off camera in between the groups but maybe that's the thing you know there's a stain right and there's a stain there's some messiness and i think that unlike me at the moment you could actually be quite okay with it you know it's like i'm messy so what it's part of me being creative so you're understanding that your qualities also come together with defects and a person cannot bring you down by pointing a defect because you know that defect is also your quality does that make sense let me give you another example maybe people made fun of your nose the shape of your nose but actually your nose is really unique and it stands out so what makes you stand out is also what other people find issues with because maybe it doesn't fit into classical nose shapes <laughs> you know or like the beauty standards of the culture in which you live so that could be just a very pragmatic example but i'm sure you get what i mean we also have here divinity balance the physical and the spiritual yeah so <laughs> you're truly coming into alignment your glow up is a consequence of you loving yourself more coming into alignment accepting your dark with your light you know i love this this is awesome i'm so proud of you this is beautiful congratulations this is pretty hard 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 stuff to do hard stuff to do stuff really that's a very unelegant one but yeah it's a hard thing to do to combine your darker more unacknowledged aspects into your solar light and that's what makes you so lovable at the moment and I'm, I'm pretty sure that you're going to attract more love more compliments more invitations more opportunities because people see how you radiate this inner confidence you know who you are you accept yourself warts and all and because of that you're going to start stealing people's hearts like the beautiful bandit that you are and then if you needed a crystal i have here for you the spirit cords <laughs> i think it might exist and the asteroid chiron the wounded healer and yeah the keyword is healing you're completed you are okay two things at the same time sorry my brain is cross-wired right now by all this retrograde energy 
So some of you are completing your healing right now. I feel like two more weeks are necessary for you maybe to stay away from people, protect your energy, uh, read, sleep, nourish your basic needs, not do too much. While others of you have just completed it. This is it. This is your confirmation. This reading, the moment you stumble upon it, I'm here to let you know, congratulations, your healing is complete. You can go out there and love fully, create fully, express yourself beautifully. Oof, wow, working with this retrograde energy is like, wow. <laughs> and if you needed a protective goddess, here is yours. This is Amali, she who questions curiosity, destiny, and search. A beautiful world of uh, opportunities is opening up for you at the moment. I was really trying not to make um, a repetition. Maybe you guys are trying at the moment to find out how can I express my unique self without feeling like I'm copying other people. Um, and you're really in the process of finding that out. I don't know why, but this flower, it might not be it. I think, was this called Parsiflora? Uh, but to me, this looks as a passion flower as well for some reason. Maybe you should drink passion flower tea. <laughs> is that a thing? I don't know. I think I'm speaking out of my depth here. I do apologize for that. But there is something here where, unlike me, I feel like you are genuinely going to be more confident with the decisions you're making. And even if you doubt things from time to time, those doubts are actually just clever intuitive insights that only expand your mind more i'm getting gemini energy with you guys so you might actually stop your thinking flow of energy midway through a conversation to go over or to break that thought into two different thoughts so <laughs> the ways in which you speak to other people might come across as slightly strange because you might be saying something with a lot of confidence, then you go like, wait a minute, I just had this uh, prise de conscience, you know, this <laughs> sudden moment of shocking awareness. And now I see the situation from a completely different side, so I just need to go back over what I just said. So people might think, are, are you suffering from a split personality? But no, follow that, because it's leading you to a deeper level of awareness and it's like your intelligence is becoming cosmic if it was limited now it's breaking up into something bigger i hope that makes sense it has been a little bit weird i'm sorry about this um your energy is really beautiful it's a bit zigzaggy but beautiful so stay with this energy your healing is completed you're a gorgeous bandit you're gonna make people fall in love with you i think um summer is gonna be really significant for you so that's what I had for you, group four. Thank you so much. Um, group four, yeah. Thank you so much. See, doubting again. Oh my God. Thank you so much for listening. If you would like to work with me or for any other tidbits and other ways in which you can get in touch with me, check the box below this video. And I hope to see you in my next one. Hey, group five. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. Welcome to a pick a card reading on the topic of your glow up. Yes, very crazy makeup. I hope it inspires you. I hope it makes you feel good. This is for those of you that were drawn to the Moon Child card. And I'm going to read you the in-depth message, much like I did for all the other groups. Let's see, what does the Moon Child card want to say? This is from Alana Fairchild's Love Your Inner Guidance uh, Goddess Oracle Deck. <sighs> I'm trying not to get annoyed at the many mistakes that are happening during this retrograde. But anyway, we keep persevering. So you have an opportunity to manifest something that you want very much. The divine wants to bless you with assistance to bring a cherished dream to life. Begin by admitting the true desires of your heart. Then you will need to let go of control as you trust enough to let it happen. You'll know when you are really doing this because you'll feel scared at first. You'll wonder if it's okay to surrender quite so much. It is. Ask for what you want and need without any shame, guilt or hesitation. Then relax and allow the universe to do its thing. So that was the message for you, moon children. You could be my Cancerians. So you could be um, Cancer Moon, Cancer Sun, Cancer Ascendant. I feel that as well, Jupiter and Pisces is going to give you a welcome boost of energy, empathy, creativity. Let's see what the Muse style has to say regarding your glow up. 
you are starting to express yourself in beautiful ways. You are putting more heart in your communications. You've learned from your past mistakes. Maybe people criticize you for not speaking enough, for uh, being confused um, when they had interactions with you. And now you're like, okay, I'm going to start opening up. I'll, I will actually tell people what I feel about them. I'm going to be brave. And I think that this is going to be a really, really fortunate journey because you will attract more friends. So the more you talk about the things you like, even the things you dislike as well, the more you um, put your beautiful ideas, visions, dreams, moods into words, I think that you're going to attract a group of very stable people that are willing to contribute to your cause, are willing to support you achieving your goals. Um, they're willing to just hang around and have fun with you, you know, uh, chill with you, um, play with you, you know, go out with you. Yeah, <laughs> uh, for some people even um, play computer games with you, you know, if you needed a group of people to play computer games, there you go, it's coming. You just need to put the information out there. Maybe join an online forum and let people know, hey, I'm looking for a group of people to play this computer game with, you know? Or, hey, I'm looking for a group of people to create a study group, a reading group, a writer's retreat, a spiritual groove, or <laughs> maybe you're looking for your group of, you know, your soul tribe. I'm willing to create a coven, right? Maybe you're a witch and you don't want to witch on your own. You want to witch with other witches. I'll see myself out. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you're going to become more playful, more creative in your speech patterns. You're not going to hold back. Um, I feel that in the past you guys were very self-conscious of how you expressed yourself. You were afraid of making mistakes. You were afraid of bothering people. Maybe you guys wear glasses. Maybe there is something about your speech. You might have a lisp. You might uh, pronounce R's in a very particular ways. In my language, you call that graciasa, when a person uh, pronounces the R at the back of the neck rather than at the front. Uh, maybe there's something slow, um, a bit careful about the way you speak. For some, I'm hearing monotone. Maybe some people have criticized you and said that you speak in monotone ways which is really rude, to be honest. You just have your own rhythm, your own style. Some of you could have Mercury in Cancer or Mercury in Capricorn or Mercury conjunct Saturn, which talks about a slow karmic release of your um, capacity to express yourself with confidence. And this is coming. This is part of your glow up, your capacity to express yourself with beautiful confidence. And not only that, but to put whatever you're feeling into speech, even if it might come out in strange, embarrassing weird ways it's like i'm willing to take that risk and see what happens i love this it's like you're so bravely soft or softly brave somehow there's nothing militant or violent about this expression it's like an introvert deciding to speak up and then people are just like gathering around them and like wow this is actually really interesting i wish that you could tell us more you know like a storyteller um gathering people around the warm campfire, you know? So we have here your oracle cards. Let's see. I have here duality. And it says many meanings, misunderstanding. She's wearing a red dress. And she seems like she's cast away in a cave somewhere. Maybe people branded you. I'm thinking of <laughs> Nathaniel Hawthorne's novel, right? The Scarlet Letter. Maybe people like branded you in the past. Maybe you chose to speak up, to say something, and they thought you were weird or they thought, really, is that what you think? I think some of you were even sent to the counselor to speak with them. Maybe in the past, you tended to focus only on the negative aspects in life. And maybe some people thought that you were suffering from a mental health issue or that you needed some help because you might have been a bit suicidal. Um, and I think it's not about that. It's just that you tended to focus on the more evanescent aspects of life. Some of you might have even said that you appreciate astrology. You think that you come from another planet, that you're a starseed or light worker or witch. And maybe the people around you judged you very harshly for that. They told you to not say that, to not speak. And I think that this is what's healing for you as part of your glow up. 
you're understanding that hey there's nothing wrong with me i'm just i'm just made like this and i'm going to continue to express myself in spite of the fact that what i said in the past was used against me it was used to silence me i think some of you are also maybe gender equality advocates maybe you spoke up on somebody who might have abused you or on being the other half of an abusive relationship and now it's like you know what I'm gonna be daring I'm gonna be sexy I'm gonna be confident I will not hold myself back anymore and I will speak up I will not be silenced anymore I'm hearing um, silence all those years was that by Tori Amos I think it was an album by Tori Amos yeah and Tori Amos you know she suffered sexual violence so there might be for some of you out there, just for a small group of you, I think the majority of you might fit better into this whole, I'm choosing to speak up and not in a militant way to defend myself, but just to express my feelings more, just to maybe try out different ways of speaking, different ways of building relationships through communication. Uh, some of you are even opening up um, like your social media accounts or sprucing them up, changing them, maybe changing your website as well because you want to transmit a different identity, a different image out there. We have here observation. Yeah, confirmation that the majority of you are introverts. Patience, attention, pause, and watchful. So you're gathering up energy at the moment. Your glow up is very silent, <laughs> but it's very soft. You see this bunny, right? You just want to cuddle him, right? It's so cute. You see the fur is dark, but it looks very um silky silky smooth your glow up is silky smooth mm. it might pass by unawares like maybe people might not notice that there is something changed within you but then all of a sudden the more they stare at you the more they pay close attention because we do have the observation card here the more they notice that something changed in the way you behave it's like you're able to maybe overcome shyness i'm getting this because with the moon child this is like you're you're able to overcome your shyness this is beautiful and gradually as you're doing this other people around you don't need to help you so much maybe you had a parent or a sibling or a good friend that always had to speak up on your behalf or write things that you found it too embarrassing or too strange to say and now Finally, you're going to take the lead. This could be also about writing text messages to the people that you want to date. Maybe you always ask a friend to help you or look over what you, were, what you have written. Is this okay? Um, do I sound insane? But now you're going to finally say, I'm going to craft this message myself and I'll just press send and so be it. You know, more confidence, more taking a chance, a leap of faith. We also have here Voodoo roots. So we have here res respect, survival, liberation, and freedom. Yeah, you are standing in your self-respect. Mm -hmm. You're claiming your independence. This is part of your glow up. So I also think that this is to honor somebody in your family. Maybe you want to be like a grandmother or a grandfather. Maybe there was somebody that you've recently came to the awareness of, like a, an object from your family resurfaced during the retrogrades there is something here about more light being shed on your roots your cultural background and this is something you newly discovered and this is giving you this energy of i'm protected oh i did want to say that the rabbit can be your animal spirit in this period okay it's a very very soft energy but very creative as well and you know rabbits are notoriously very shy and afraid um they're not predators at all but at the same time i feel that they're incredibly perceptive right they need to be always on the alert to notice their environment to uh, i even think that they have that vision that they can survey the whole landscape like uh, impalas i think they have the same thing that their eyes see in um what was that pana vision <laughs> like movies were made in the past you know with complete full depth of field um anyway i'm getting into some strange uh fauna explanations but i feel that with the observation and closure wow this is giving me some really like midnight special vibes guys 
who am I reading for recently? I don't know, my family has grown quite a lot um, throughout these months. I'm very fast, I need to say, because um, I've been only doing the spiritual social for two years in a very committed way. But like, wow. <laughs> I feel like you guys have some extrasensorial capacities. You could be telepaths. Yeah. My mind just stopped for a moment because there is something here about being able to travel or see through different dimensions, picking up things, objects, details, information, and then waking up to this current reality here on Earth and being like, should I say something or not? Should I hold it for myself? You're going to make a really important decision and this is part of your glow up process of your process of becoming less shy more open and more compassionate in your speech you might even start writing about your experiences and that could be a very lucrative financial opportunity to support yourself we also have here strange fruit oh wow confirmation of the closure card and the multi-dimensional otherworldly energy i was picking up on mm -hmm. Embrace your differences. <laughs> you see all these tendrils coming out. Yeah, embrace your differences. I'm hearing that some of you might even have a certain physical defect that made you stand out. Maybe something on your face, uh, a birthmark, maybe a scar, uh, something maybe burned skin that happened to you in the past, or uh, maybe you generally have like some sort of physical impairment and you were very... Um, you managed to become at peace, you accepted yourself throughout time, but you were very shy about how other people would perceive you. And I feel that this glow up is all about having the confidence to not be ashamed or afraid. I feel like you don't have the power or the energy to try to, to try to hide, to try to hide who you are and to try to hide the fact that you accept yourself and therefore the environment should accept you too. Take it or leave it, you know, that's the kind of mentality. And if you needed a crystal, I have here the sacral chakra, the sunstone. Mm. You're becoming more trusting. You're opening up to the world, more creative. You want to share your creative gifts with other people. This is also about wanting to jump into a connection, as I said earlier, with the text messages. So you might take the bull by the horns and just launch into a relationship with somebody. And even though you might have these physical disabilities or you might be unique and strange in your mind, because I think you're not at all strange, I think you're beautiful. And I'm super happy that you're part of my soul tribe. You're gonna overcome all of these limiting beliefs. You're overcoming them. And how? Well, by talking about them, by putting it into writing. Take it or leave it. This is the approach. And finally, if you needed a goddess or a deity that protects you in this period, we have here blue. <laughs> and it says here, she who loved once, yeah? So fragile, secret love and rejection. Oh, your heart could have been broken by somebody. I'm hearing for the majority of you, this could have been a family member, maybe a parent that abandoned you or left you when you were younger. Um, so some of you had to live in reconstructed families with a stepmother or stepfather or you were left in the care of your grandparents and you don't know your parents um, there is a feeling here as well that you really had a crush on somebody as you were growing up and that was very disappointing to you and kind of i'm hearing mute you know how some people react to trauma by not speaking by not wanting to, to speak anymore. This could have happened to you. You could have gone mute after a particular trauma. And I did pick up on this thing, right? So I did pick up on the sexual violence aspect here. I'm not sure if it was necessarily sexual violence because you know, if you're a sensitive person, even the fact that people shout at you can be verbal abuse, ver verbal violence, right? And I do think that you guys are very, very sensitive. Wow, and as I'm talking about this, wow, all of a sudden my yeah i think that for some of you you just had an emotional release it's safe it's okay you can be here um let it go let it out pour it out let it release out of you because it will change your energy for the better your glow up is beautifully confident um in a in a soft in a soft sweet kind of way i think you're ready to start your own family for some of you that are at the later point in life or at the point where you want to start a family 
For others of you, you're just becoming bolder in uh, you're overcoming, first of all, some sort of abuse that happened, the traumatic experience that left you silent and made you retreat into yourself. You're coming out of the persecution cave. You're realizing you're not a victim. You're in control of your life. While for others of you in a more milder form, this can just be about, you know, having the confidence to just make more friends, um, tell people what you like, what you don't like, and also initiate um, loving romantic connections more. So this is your glow, glow up. I complete. I tripped so much in your reading over my words. It's almost as if there is... <laughs> The verbal energy, I have to work with it. I have to mold it. I have to like push through it. You know, it's not forthcoming like it did in all the other piles. This can be Mercury retrograde, of course, at the moment. And it is my fifth pile, so I'm getting a little bit tired. But I do think it's because the energy I'm picking up here, the as I'm empathizing with you, my loves, you really had to struggle with communication, especially verbal communication and with processing information thrown at you in a very fast way. But your time is coming. Your glow up includes improved communication skills. So thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. Thank you for listening. If you want to work with me or get in touch with me, please check everything that is underneath this video. The description box has plenty of links for you to click on and have fun with. I hope to see you in my next one, guys. Take good care of yourselves. Hey, group six. Welcome to a pick a card reading on the topic of your glow up. This is for those of you that were drawn to the elk medicine woman. I am going to read you the additional in-depth message. What a beautiful card, right? Of this beautiful energy. So let's see. <clears throat> this is from Alana Fairchild's Love Your Inner Goddess Oracle deck. There are certain things that are meant to happen at particular times. This is the working of destiny. No matter how much pressure there is from the outside world or from your own expectations, there is an order of events and divine timing in place so that what is meant to be shall be. Balance your active pursuit of your dreams and ambition with patience and trust in the right timing of things. You are given a message that you are capable of great accomplishments in this lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> Rather than fighting against life, trust that it is working with you and for you. Do what is in your power to do, but pace yourself with trust and surrender too. So there is um, an interesting en energy exchange here. On one hand, you are being asked to help others. And on the other hand, you are being asked to conserve your energy and only release it at key moments in your life. And that balancing act could be part of your glow up process. Let's see what the Muse Terra has to say. I also have your Oracle cards pre-shuffled here. I'll show them to you in a second, but first I wanna see what the Terra has to say regarding group six's glow up. You could be in the medical field with the elk medicine woman, yeah? So you could be a healer, you could be a doula, you could be a doctor, a counselor, a psychotherapist, somebody that repairs people, right? Makes them better. Maybe you should come and repair my makeup because it's broken. <laughs> no, but it's starting to melt off my face by the time I'm actually reaching your pile. Oh, and talking about this, so two very strong energies, the hanged muse, so this is Pisces energy. And then we have here the devil, Capricorn energy. Maybe you have both of these energies in your chart or somehow they are influential. They are important for you at the moment. There is something here regarding your capacity to blend the spiritual with the material. So I have a feeling that you guys, you need frequent time alone or moments when you retreat. It's like you work, 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 and then... I'm, I'm not talking to anybody for the next month, you know? You disappear off the radar. You need to replenish. You just, you know, book a flight on the other side of the world. There is something here about being very good at what you're doing, being full of effort, stoic, resilient, determined, hardworking. Um, you don't have time for meaningless things. You want to see tangible outcomes and tangible rewards. At the same time, you know when to pull back. You know when to say enough. It's like you have a that's it limit, you know? It's like you, you give, you work, you're full of help. You're working in the service of other people. But then 
when your energy starts to become depleted, when you're feeling a little bit grumpy or irritated, it's like, that's it, enough, cancel all my appointments, I'm done, I'm going on a holiday, you know? Very, very interesting energy. So it's about balancing these sides of yourself and you're doing it very beautifully. And I think this is what people see in your glow up, the accumulation of all these beautiful decisions that you've made so far to balance playing hard with working hard. Yeah, so wow. Interesting message, I wasn't expecting this. Now, let's see what your Oracle cards have to say. Also, I do think that you are meant to become somebody quite important, quite influential with this, yeah, with this fated energy in your chart with the elk medicine woman. You could be somebody that has a, a wide reaching influence, you know, you could be a trendsetter, an influencer, or maybe just somebody that works in a profession that is, you know, seen with a lot of reverence and respect, um, especially, for example, if you're a doctor or... Um, you know, you don't necessarily have to be um, a medical doctor. You can be like an academic. You could have that title. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I'm hearing that some of you might just get this title in this period. In which case, congratulations. Part of your glow up is going to be to, to be seen professionally by other people. To be respected and admired and welcomed within their elite niche groups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of you could be having planets in the 11th house. So you're finally um, on the path of following your life's purpose through your work. You've discovered your vocation, what you're good at with the devil, with Capricorn, Saturn energy here. And now it's all a case of balancing your work schedule so that you don't end up selling your soul to the devil to make money quick or to exhaust yourself to the point where you're making mistakes at work that could lead to people losing their lives or your professional integrity and you're like rising into this understanding that from now on it's just a case of maintaining what i am already achieving yeah so for the majority of you that chose this group it's a professional spiritual vocational glow up that i see happening here for you yeah and look the card <laughs> abundance yeah so this is i think the hindu goddess lakshmi the goddess of fortune, fortune, wealth, and plenty. Oh, baby, you're going to have a lot of everything. And I feel that you are kind enough to share it with those around you. I feel you're generous and you will get increasingly more so. The more you create, the more you can give. It's this cycle of prosperity that you are just entering and it is part of your glow up. People will seek you out for your advice, for your skills, for your services. And in return, they're going to pay you in substantial ways. Either through gifts, but mostly this will be through money. Authenticity. It's because, congratulations, you're being yourself. You're being who you are, who you're meant to be. You're not wearing masks. You're not trying to hide. You're not trying to get to a certain position in life quicker by having these get-rich schemes, you know. You, you know your worth and you've been studying, working really hard your entire life and now finally it's like I'm getting my fruit. We have here sovereignty, independence and uniqueness. And part of why you're so badass and so respected is that you can be quite prickly when the situation requires it, you know. I think you're this kind of person that sometimes can get like, why are you wasting my time? My time is really precious. I don't have time to waste on you. Why are you wasting my time? You see the cactus here. So maybe this is the kind of conversation that you had with people mm, that you were dating. People that just wanted to fool around or have a good time. And you're like, I need to be at my work. You know, I want to make sure that when I come home, I have somebody to snuggle with. I cannot do this 2 a.m. booty call bullshit with you. You know, that's the kind of vibration I'm getting here. And this really like, woof, amps up your self-respect. And I feel that even though you had to go through dry spells and periods where maybe you didn't have anybody to please you physically or to make you feel loved, I feel like you're increasingly going to have this. You're this kind of individual that the older you get, the hotter you become. And look, we have your inspiration, a light in the dark. You are this individual that I think thrived during the pandemic or you have a profession that thrives during the pandemic because people come to you to fix them, you know? to give them solutions, to repair them. Um, when everything seems chaotic and uncertain, it's like, I'm here, I can help you, I'm of service. Um, but at the same time, you do need moments when you need to replenish your light in order to not put out 
low quality work and i think that you're uncompromising about this you can erect a very firm boundary between you and other people very quickly even though previously you were quite open and then as quickly as you erected this boundary you t you tear it back down <laughs> you tore it down <laughs> so yeah there is something here yeah you're pretty you're pretty badass you have like a, a switch on switch off switch inside of you Salamander, Uroburos, creative work, infinite wisdom, alchemy. It's because you're doing what you love. And that's why it's like a self-replenishing loop of prosperity. You want to learn more. You want to become better at what you're doing. You're generally helping people from your heart because your heart is in your work. It's not just, you know, you're getting an income and a paycheck and I can't, I'm thinking of that vacation in Cabo or Bali, you know. It's like, you're like 100% there. I think that from time to time people are constantly pushing at your boundaries and even when you are away people still message you or they want to book appointments with you and it's kind of like having that fortitude to maintain that boundary so you protect your energy and replenish yourself invention wow brilliant new ideas you offer people something that has not been offered before say even if you're a medic or a doctor you work in a profession that has a certain reputation for years you know it's been well researched there's been developments in the field you offer maybe a compassionate approach maybe a spiritual approach to something that is quite scientific you combine them you're uh, you're walking the fine line between magic spirituality and the occult and something very pragmatic scientific research-based you know that's why people love you that's why they they can't get enough because you offer a type of services a product that they can't get anywhere else and it's all because of you because your career is built on your identity and you're being uncompromising with that and it's wonderful you know standing in your integrity knowing who you are knowing what to charge knowing how to develop services it's about you expressing your authenticity your inner light being yourself and it keeps attracting people because there's nothing more attractive than standing in your power and in the confidence of knowing who you really are yeah so wow respect respect hats off to you so in case you needed a crystal we have here super seven super seven crystal this is a very new crystal to me maybe you need to do some research the crystal is as unique as you are and then we have here alrisha star and the keyword is direction 11 11 when i said that you are a beautiful manifester a magician you know you are given tiny things and you make a whole fortress out of them <laughs> and that's why this power of this alchemical energy that resides around you and your aura is what makes people so drawn towards you, right? The light in the dark. The, I think this is my favorite card from this deck. It's so gorgeous. So I have to say, your reading might be shorter than all the other ones, also because I'm losing light. So I hope that you can still see me and hear me well. Um, but at the same, although you can't hear light, oh my God, Mercury Retro, I'm sorry, guys. Um, but at the same time, I feel that when the energy is very clear you don't need that many words to interpret it you know it's like it's very clear you know who you are you've been glowing up for a while now as we saw it with this card you know you know your direction you're just being finally validated by other people for it this is part of your glow up people finally seeing you glow whereas you've been glowing for a very long time but maybe there was some sort of karmic impediment where people were not aware of your glow if you needed a protective goddess a protective energy here it is we have here wow nemesis the greek goddess of destruction so she who avenges revenge outcomes and justice so nemesis was a goddess that actually she's pretty fearsome um, she is almost like the the energy of Kali, Kalima, in Hindu mythology, right? The fearsome, uh, vengeful face of Durga. But both Kalima and Nemesis, they had a reason why they were like this. Um, Nemesis was sought after by all the other gods in Olympus when there was some sort of arrogance being exercised here on Earth. 
whenever humans wanted to compare themselves to the might of gods, whenever humans went into this path of hubris, right? So inflated arrogance, godlike complexes, you know, messiah ideas, Nemesis would swoop down from Olympus and give them a very difficult, challenging circumstance that will humble them into acknowledging the fact that they are never on their own. They're always co-creating with other gods, you know, with something higher up than they are. So you have this amazing energy around you that keeps you humble. It keeps you focused. You know that you cannot step out of line because you know that you stand a chance of losing everything if you don't act from a place of authenticity, deep inner knowing and integrity. This is why you will end up leaving a beautiful, long-lasting, professional legacy behind you. I'm not sure how you're doing with the romantic side. Um, I think that for you, the real pleasure, the real satisfaction in this lifetime is your work through which you will heal people, through which you will grow and expand. I do think that eventually you might meet another elk like you. So a protective spirit of the forest, a very fatherly like presence. This can be a coupling between um, a Pisces and a Capricorn sun, right? But before then, you just need to enjoy your, the abundance you're creating based on the fact that you know very clearly who you are and what you want. So this has been your glow up. Wow, hats off to you, group six, phenomenal. You truly inspired me. So if you wanna work with me or if you want uh, access to other kinds of services I have, um, you have a lot of fun links to click on in the description box below. If otherwise you're not interested and you just wanna go about your day, then I wish you well, have a great time and hope to see you in my next one. Mwah! Ciao.